All right, everyone, I hope uh, you're doing okay with the remote, remote learning experience. We have a sea cucumber here. So I know when I started teaching this class, first time I had ever seen one of these critters. Uh, has its name because it looks sort of like a cucumber. And this is an echinoderm, so in the phylum echinodermata, and the class Holotheridia, Holotheroidea. And here is the mouth, the opening to the mouth. It does have tentacles, but when they're preserved, they tend to invert the tentacles into the pharynx. So I'm gonna, I've made one incision initially. You see where my finger is there? We have the beginning of the GI tract, the pharynx there, this muscular part here. I'm gonna do uh, a cross incision so they can try to open it up a little more. The muscle wall is incredibly thick in these organisms. As you can see, my efforts trying to cut through them. Uh, and if you look inside here, it's just an absolutely strange looking organism. So I'm gonna try to open this up a little bit so you can see it. So on the outside, the tube feet are kind of hard to see. They tend to get uh, sucked in as well when they're preserved. But on the inside, you can see these little reddish structures, these are the ampullae, so those are on the other side connected to the tube feet, the similar ampullae that you'd find in the uh, sea star if you watch the sea star dissection. So we have the mouth here, uh, which goes into the pharynx. So this large muscular structure here is the pharynx. All this orange stringy, almost looks like thin ramen noodles, that is all gonad, so that uh, is a densely packed inside the body wall. I'll try to tease some of that out of the way so we can see some more of the GI tract. Uh, and you'll see this is the intestine that's wound around some of this uh, gonad here, so it has more of a yellowish off-white color. Uh, this muscle here, I've actually sliced it when I did the incision, is called a pharynx retractor muscle, so that is attached to the pharynx. This large bulb here is the pharynx, which leads down into the stomach. So below the pharynx, this has almost kind of a reddish color in this one, probably some of the food it was partially digested. Down under the probe here, I'm poking it with the probe, is the stomach. And after that, you have the remainder of the GI, so you have the intestine. It's highly coiled up, so it is wound around here. And then finally, exits down at the end here is the cloaca. So this is, again, I think I sliced, well, I sliced through a little at the end of the intestine and it would come down and exit out through the anus there. You can also see within this organism this finer off-white material called the respiratory tree. So this material here is highly branched and it allows it to exchange oxygen. So it's this fine, you can see how fine and feathery it almost looks a little like the, the gills in the uh, crayfish that we had uh, watched the dissection of and this this again here is all the gonads and the kind of the bright orange coloration and there are a series of those funnel retractor muscles if I move some of the intestine away here you can see it's densely packed wound up inside the cavity here's another uh, uh, muscle attached to the pharynx here again pharynx retractor muscle so these are kind of strange organisms I guess the outside does look a little bit like a cucumber I guess that's the hence the name uh, but they are echinoderm, so they have that, um, some of the character, obviously characters of the echinoderms. Uh, and I hope uh, you've enjoyed the remote learning experience. I know Professor Wolf Bellin and I have tried hard to uh, make it a meaningful experience. And I certainly appreciate your patience and your hard work uh, doing the worksheets. I feel like you've put in a great deal of effort. I know it's not easy for you as well. So. Uh, we'll be in touch uh, with the remaining labs, but I hope you enjoyed uh, this video of the sea cucumber. Take care.